Well guys, it's been, AC comes on right when I start talking. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting something very exciting and that is our outside of our house remodel. If you have been with us long enough, then you would know that we bought a 1960s fixer upper about a year and a half ago. So let's just call this farmhouse fixer upper series. First episode is going to be painting the trim of our house black. I'm just as equally excited as I am terrified that we are painting it black, but the vibe we're going for is like modern farmhouse, industrial farmhouse, so I want black and like natural wood incorporated with white brick. So as you can see, our trim right now is dark green. We are going to transform it into black. We're gonna keep this white. Our brick is gonna be white and we are going to have a bunch of like wood shutters and things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean off all the trim with my Big handy fan, dandy broom. And yes, if you are wondering, I'm starting in the back of the house in case this looks horrible. I've got all of my supplies, it's so hot. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with some tape and tape the bottom where the green meets the white so that I don't get the black on the white because that would be horrible. This is probably gonna be the most tedious and arm burning part. So this might take some time. that was the most annoying thing ever um, I put the tape on and then realized I needed to put it under like a lip because the previous people who painted got green everywhere so if I followed their pattern it was gonna look worse so I'm gonna have to cover up their mistakes and I don't wanna to have to go over the white paint because it's new. They did it right before they sold. So I'm gonna to try to avoid touching the white with any black. So I'm gonna start painting. Here we go. All right, I got this paint from Sherman Williams. This is what $85 in a can looks like. <laughs> but I got it in tricorn black. It's their blackest, like truest black, and I got it in satin, so it's not gonna be too glossy, and it's not gonna be completely flat, but it will be easy to clean. But I didn't want it to be glossy. Wowza, oh, that scares me. And I got this brush. This works well with the paint. This brush was actually like $25, but they said, it should be fine, and I'm gonna take a bucket with me. So let's, oh my goodness, y'all see how thick that is? <gasps> it's supposed to be one coat paint. That is thick. did this whole side black and I love it all right good morning it is day two of painting and the plan is to try to get 
at least halfway done with the trim. You know, yesterday I only did it for two hours, but my hand started cramping from holding that brush. So I'm gonna try to power through, not be such of a drama queen, <laughs> and do at least half of it. I already had my mask on, wiped off the trim. I'm gonna tape and do some more. So I will bring you along with me. recruited a fan <laughs> to help the biggest fan yep Well guys, it's been, AC comes on right when I start talking. Hey guys, it's been, I'm sad to say like a week since I have last painted, but it's been raining almost every day. So it kind of delayed some things, but finishing it today, I've got two more sides to paint and they're thankfully small, so.
did it. I'm done painting black paint. But I didn't get away with it without an injury. It doesn't look bad, but it hurts so bad. I pinched my finger in the ladder and I had to stop mid paint for that injury, but I'm done and I want y'all to tell me what you think. I mean, it used to be green and now it's black. everybody that is it for this video please give this a thumbs up if you liked it I'm gonna be having one of these videos quite often my next project is this door so somebody tell me in the comments what color I want it to be wood eventually but I feel like if I have black it's just gonna be too much black so I'm thinking like a pop of color but something subtle so let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you again next time.